Hi, welcome to NickBackus.com. We are on Lesson 1, Sticks and Mallet, from Percussion Guy for the Beginning Band Student. Before we begin, I'd like to talk a little about why I wrote this book. I'm a band director and percussionist. And one of the things we try to do as a band director, we try to establish a quality sound for every instrument. And we put a lot of time in that. But what I noticed is the time I got to my percussionist, either I ran out of time in class, or I didn't have enough time to focus on individual instruments, the time needed for my students to understand it. So I wrote the book. And the book is designed for a band rehearsal and is limited environment. Let me talk a little bit about the book and its structure. You're always going to see a description. Then you're going to see key points, important things you need to remember to get that sound out of that instrument. We have a question answer section in this, which is extremely important. You may look at it and think these questions are the easiest ones to answer. But they're very important in being a percussionist. We are always making decisions. As a percussionist, I'm choosing the correct mallets. Um, it could be the uh, type of drum heads I use, where I place my sticks and mallets on the instrument. So we have to get used to making decisions. If you feel at the beginning of this book it's too hard to read, what you should do is always take a look at the imitate what you see section. So get your bearings. Decide, just imitate exactly what you see, whether it's a hand position or the, the, the height of a snare, and then go back and read descriptions and key points. Let's begin with two concepts. The first concept, what I need as a band director. I would love every student to have a mallet for each instrument. So if I ask my student to play xylophone, they have the appropriate mallet. Also, you're going to find out that these mallets can be quite expensive. So what your goal is, and it's the same goal for a band director, is that you would like one mallet for more than one instrument. And that's a starting point. And all, everything that I give you in these lessons is a starting point, a place to begin. So let's go over the basic design. I always tell my students one of the most important things to get is a stick bag. Why? If you keep your sticks and mallets separate, chances are you're going to lose them. They all look alike for the kids. So kids will take sticks and make mistakes. And the rule is the less you have, the more you forget. So you can get an inexpensive stick bag, $20, something in that price range or more if you want to. And let me give you the pattern and the that I like to use in organizing my sticks. Now, the first mallet we're going to talk about that takes care of two different instruments is your xylophone bell mallet. So this particular mallet is going to take care of uh, two instruments. Another one is going to take care of two instruments plus a cymbal effect is your yarn mallets. This is for marimba, vibraphone, and for the classic cymbal roll that we're going to get into later on. And finally, your last purchase. It's a pair of timpani mallets, felt mallets, and you got to be very careful with them because they can wear out. So these are going to be protected because they are very expensive. So either use general or staccato. Uh, I would say with the parts you're playing, if you want to go more staccato, that would be better. But either one will be it's a great starting point. The sticks that you're going to get with your bell kit are going to be sufficient. But let me talk about something interesting as you read descriptions of sticks. The general rule for drumsticks is the higher the number, the thinner they are. So for instance, a seven stick is going to be thinner than a 5. And a 5A is going to be less weight than a 5B. I prefer a 5B stick, but the stick that you're going to have is, is going to be fine. Also, when you look at the variety of sticks, you can see a lot of exceptions to, that, to the rule I just gave you. But it is a starting point. And let's review this. Your 5A sticks xylophone bell mallets, yarn mallets for marimba, vibraphone, and cymbal rolls, and your timpani mallets, either general or staccato. And obviously, our stick bag. Thank you for joining me at nickbackus.com. Remember to read the description, all key points, and answer all the questions. This is Lesson 1, Sticks and Mallets, from Percussion Guide for the Beginning Band Student.